Hello, my name is Rob. I'm a developer educator at Flowforge. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the new ability to limit access to your endpoints and dashboards using your Flowforge user account, which is part of Flowforge's 1.3 release. In Flowforge 0.10, we added the ability to set a single username and password for each project. Those credentials control access to your endpoints and dashboards. In release 1.3, we are extending that feature to allow your team to also use their existing Flowforge user accounts to access your resources. This makes your projects more secure, as adding or removing your users from your Flowforge team will also update their access to your endpoints and dashboards. You can also use single sign-on access, which we added to Flowforge in version 1.2, making it even easier to manage who can access your resources. To set up this new feature, first select the projects you want to protect, then go to the Settings menu. Now select Security, click Flowforge User Authentication, then Save Settings. The last step is to restart your project. Select Overview, Actions, then Restart. Now we just need to wait for the project to restart. We can now see that if I try to view my dashboard, it can only be accessed in my browser using my saved single sign-on credentials. If I try to view it in an incognito browser, I am prompted to log in again. We think this is a great new feature to help teams have confidence that their resources are secure by leveraging their Flowforge user accounts or single sign-on. We look forward to seeing our customers make use of this and other new features in Flowforge 1.3. Thanks for watching.